So you've described yourself as an experimentalist mm -hmm. and you truly believe that. Uh, but you mentioned two things that I would love to get your thoughts on as sure. a David Rusick, the person, not necessarily the, 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 the human. Uh, <laughs> And racing to a cure, which is a book you may you may know about. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, uh, I think you, you, your dad wrote that. You know, you, you David and yeah. other physicists, they, uh, they're one of the few people that believe in in God. Uh, is that true still? Uh, if so, um, what what do you make of that? Like, what's the role of, of that into what you do? So, you know, religion is is personal in and the uh the level to which you know i say i believe in god and you might say you believe in god might be a very different version of what you would call god right um so the role that that belief probably plays in uh in my life is probably not enormous except that the um, moral teachings, right, of um, being kind, right, of helping your neighbors, uh, your people, helping people, help them achieve the things that they want. I think there's some guiding moral principles that can come from religion that do really, really well in, in setting you up uh, in life. If you, you know, nobody can really follow everything that, Jesus would do, right? But you can try, right? Mm -hmm. Or pick another prophet, right? I mean, I think all religions have some really good aspects uh, in them as well. And if you can aspire to be as good as those people's teachings, then um, uh, then that can be a, a way to, to, to guide you forward. Uh, and... Um, so I think that that's one of the, the things that, you know, I want to try to, to do good for the world, do good for other people around uh, around me, my, my friends, my family. Um, and hopefully, you know, I find certainly fulfillment in that if it, if it works. Do you find certain aspects of nature or the universe to be forbidden in a way where it's so divine, it's so precious that it's better that we never no, find it. Not at all. The opposite. I don't I don't I don't look at divinity or other things in that way. You know, I, I wanna learn everything there is, right? If, if uh, in terms of spirituality, you know, you could even say, well, this is just a function of how all my synapses are. And, and then when you self process your thoughts about how it comes and there's, there's something unconscious beyond what is in there. And maybe you attribute that to spiritual, spirituality or God or something like that. But, um, you know, so if your vision of, of God is much more, uh, ephemeral as opposed to, uh, old guy standing up someplace in a cloud, mm -hmm. right? Then I'm not afraid to go look in clouds, right? Because I don't think, you know, I, no, I, I want to explore every bit of science, every bit of the world, every bit of the universe, uh, every physical law we can push. I, no, nothing's off limits. Mm 